Or, you know, what are your three non-negotiables for dating? No new pics. N n what, that, what does that mean? Does they, they've never sent any? Or they don't have none. Now, listen, you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, okay? I come with yet another comma video. Now, listen, 2023, you guys, it's already uh, towards the end of 2023. And it seems like that Nicki Minaj comma is hitting hard off on everybody who tried to play with her. Now, did you guys peep what happened, um, you know, to Kyle, okay? Kyle of the Neighborhood Talk. Now, we're going to be talking about that in this video. We're also going to be talking about Flo Millie being accused of copying Ice Spice. And we're also going to be talking about Victoria Monet and Jenna Jackson and that little PDA that they had. And at the same time, you guys, it looks like also Megan the Stallion. Yeah, I was supposed to talk about this in my previous video. But yeah, we'll talk about it now because people are accusing her of basically having a bbl and these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea now, first of all, shout out to Conrad for basically bringing that up. I mean, I had seen it happening, uh, but I really hadn't thought of doing a video. Uh, thank you very much, Conrad. Um, he basically did ask me if I was going to talk about this entire Kyle situation. Now, for those of you who do not know, like I told you, like Kyle is the founder of um, The Neighborhood Talk. And it is not a secret that that blog really does give, uh, you know, biased vibes when it comes to the two women and things like that. And uh, he has really been messy over the years you know those people that like literally exaggerate and post in a way that like sets up Nicki Minaj for people to drag her and I remember the other time they actually had um you know some issues and uh Nicki Minaj uh, actually assisted him in getting you know his blog you know having numbers and stuff like that after he basically got fired from the shade room for allegedly messing with the transformer that time that's the time that the transformer had her hold on the shade room so that's basically the history and it's not a secret you guys that his blog really has been messing with Nicki Minaj now like I've told you like we have been witnessing in 2023 a lot of things have been happening and unfolding all whilst Nicki Minaj is folding her hands and and just watching at people, literally. She said it in a song. I watched them all fall from going against me. It seems like in 2023, it's dominoes on dominoes on dominoes. These people are falling down, literally crumbling, okay? Now, you guys, so Tommy and Carl got into it, um, you know, the other day because Tommy had commented on that entire Christian Rock and Tema situation. And Carl basically, uh, you know, reposted that Tommy comment. And it seems like Tommy was not feeling it. And then, you know, Tommy was out here on her thug vibes, basically basically saying, oh my goodness, have you forgotten? And, um, you know, in a short while, a video started surfacing on the internet, okay? And um, it was basically about Kyle on his knees, knees doing, um, you know, the deed with the guy. And people are still trying to figure out what who the, this guy is. But according to a certain page on Twitter, they are claiming that that person is actually well known in the industry, especially in his, um, you know, in reality shows and stuff like that. And personally, I was just like, you see, you're out here threatening to spill people's tea and doing the most and trying you know take down Nicki Minaj and she hasn't done anything to you or to anyone for that matter and uh all this is now happening I'm just like do you guys see what's happening the other time we spoke about DJ Anthe we spoke about you know Charlemagne the God we spoke about all these other things who literally were setting up Nicki Minaj for Fela even when she hadn't done anything to them so i hope this goes to be like to show that listen you don't have to be messy you don't have to uh, basically try and bring down people that haven't done anything to you or to anyone just for a coin okay because this certainly is giving karma vibes now i do not care what you say because people are like oh my god it has been known that you know um he has always been you know gay and stuff like that but uh i'm just like i am not disputing that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but i know for a fact that even if you're straight even if you're not nobody wants to have their videos out there doing the deed so that in itself it's not a nice sight and he hasn't addressed that entire situation and i did see some people dragging him in the comment section saying that oh well Carl, we're expecting for you to address that entire situation of your leaked um you know videos out there so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about that okay personally i'm just like Kama will get you like Kama or whatever Kama, what whatever um what's her name ice spice and and taylor swift said 
Because listen, now we have footage of you on your knees, okay? Doing the deed. Okay, so please, I don't know, hop into the comment section, you guys, and uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Megan. It seems like you guys are putting pressure on Bongo too. I don't know, there's a certain doctor who was out here claiming that, oh, well, she has had work done, and people were like, oh my goodness, she got a BBL. You know, people were very opinionated in as far as she, uh, her body is concerned, and uh, she has been posting pictures and videos of her working out, but it seems like now she really is putting in effort to show us those videos i guess to prove that her body is natural personally i'm no uh, surgeon you guys i'm no plastic surgeon i mean i'm an accountant that's all i know <laughs> so this entire surgery thing you guys i don't know let me know, you guys, if we have any experts in the building. Do you think that Bongo do, um, you know, got her body done? Or do you think it is indeed the workouts that she's out here posting and the meals and the stuff like that and the boot camp and stuff like that? Let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about that. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Flo Millie was out here performing and... um. I did hear people saying, oh my goodness, she's doing those I Spice mannerisms and stuff like that. And uh, personally, if I'm going to be honest, you guys, I really didn't see, um, you know, her cop copying I Spice even in a mannerisms or anything like that. I feel like people at this point are really now just reaching. I do love I Spice a lot, but I, I, I don't think Flo Millie was copying I Spice in my own opinion. I guess it's because of that, you know, Emilio Pucci line or whatever. But yeah, no, man, I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't see, um, you know, the, the comparison, where that was even coming from. So, yeah, let me know, you guys, what you think about that. Have you seen that entire, you know, Flo Millie performance? And uh, do you think that she has been copying Ice Spice? I'm probably going to insert that video, but unfortunately, I cannot insert sound. I do not know how much more I need to emphasize this. Like, you literally want me to put music in my channel so that YouTube will do the needful with my channel. Is that what you want? Like, what have I done to you? <laughs> you guys i'm just messing with you um the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys victoria monet was out here basically showing love to janet jackson apparently janet came out to support her so she tweeted and said had a wonderful time at your show last night victoria wishing you continued success in all you do god bless you and victoria monet said dear janet jackson honestly i've heard these pictures in the drafts the past few days because the fact that this moment even actually happened has had me blushingly speechless but simultaneously wanting to pour my heart out in a way that would carry the weight of what you mean to me and accurately reflect my emotions and my gratitude. But no words even hold a candle to how I truly feel. I think maybe that's why most authentic um that's why my most authentic way to honor you, adore you, respect you, and show you how much I love you is through my love's musical my life's musical artwork. Okay. Thank you for coming to support me in my show and thank you for the many seeds you have planted now hopefully i will be able to have to give you your flowers one by one as we grow closer in heart together um i love you to no end sincerely yours victoria oh isn't that heartwarming you guys i mean at least one positive thing to talk about okay at least we have one positive thing to talk about. And I mean, I love to see our legends basically getting their flowers, okay? Now, there's another thing that I'd forgotten to talk about, you guys. It seems like Cousin Sloth, okay? Cousin Glow, that's the one that I'm talking about. Cousin Sloth is out there even getting slower than you can ever imagine. And I feel like sometimes all these things that she does are intentional. I feel like she knows that her music is no longer popping as it used to be. And so now she really be saying anything just so she can trend because she was out here saying that oh well when the time comes she wants to get her she wants to get her men's name tattered on her and she also said i want to be a damp edge you know the word and i'm just like glow what is wrong with you literally cousin sloth what is wrong with you like and i i see people applauding this kind of behavior and i'm just like i don't see what's funny about this i don't know i don't see the the pride in being a dump um you know edge I, I really don't see where the pride is in all of that but hey i might just be old school because <laughs> my soul my soul is very old at heart i i believe because this does not fascinate me this does not impress me okay now bring me an intellectual interview when people actually talk sense 
then I might actually be moved, okay? Um, so let me know, you guys, what you think about Glow, you know, basically acting dumb. Personally, I feel like she does it intentionally just to get a little bit of, um, you know, clout around her name because let's be honest, nobody is still checking for her like that. But hey, thank you very much, you guys, for watching and uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. I post each and every single day and I keep you updated on what is happening in the celebrity world um, on Instagram, on Twitter and about all things trending. Until my next one, see you.